Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. For those of you guys that follow our Tarot Lessons 101, I want to let you guys know we're going back on schedule this coming Sunday. I want to apologize. It's been a crazy beginning of the new year. Uh, we have a lot of projects coming up, a lot of things. It's almost feeling like being pulled towards different directions. Um, but we are going back on schedule. So just want to let you guys know. Also, for those of you guys that like to shop on our online store, um, we have a lot of new uh, ritualized soaps that are going to be restocked. Um, your favorite ones that have been sold out for a bit are going back um, in the month of March. So how are you doing, Gemini? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of February 2022. How is venus retrograde treating you guys it's been treating me pretty fucking crazy lately <laughs> and it is on um it is in my sign capricorn so a lot of transformations waking up one day and just deciding to go completely bald i said fuck it why not so uh that's what's going on with me <laughs> All right, spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages that you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of February 2022? This is the second time this card comes out, so we're going to keep it. Oh, we got cards. We got cards. All right, one more shuffle. All right, here we go. First card that you have as a general energy, we have the two of pentacles. Decisions to be made, Gemini, uh, in regards to your future, in regards to where you're at right now and where you want to be or where you're headed. Your next card here is the knight of pentacles. So the knight of pentacles uh, does indicate it's been a long journey for a lot of you guys in regards to solidifying your finances, your career, or even relationships. But again, Two of Pentacles is here. So there is a decision to be made in regards to something that is long term or that you have committed to a while ago. Uh, some things may not be as they seem. And right now what they're telling you is try to make decisions with a cool head. All right. We have here the Queen of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Shadow Side, and the Strength card with the Five of Swords. What the heck is going on, Gemini? All right, so there is decisions to be made in regards to past behaviors, okay? So when we say past behaviors, what they're showing me here, the Shadow Side is a representation of the Devil card. So there is certain toxic traits or behaviors that you have done in the past for some of you guys you may be dealing with you know uh, some type of betrayal some type of cheating involved here whether it's you or whether it's your partner or whether it's uh putting yourself in situations where you know the people that you emotionally invest in or you emotionally give into um have commitments or have relationships outside of the connection between you and them with the queen of swords here um what they're telling you is we have the three of swords and the queen of swords so the three of swords is being hurt being betrayed there is a lot of things that i i see you guys not wanting to either deal with or heal from gemini and what they're telling you is that this is what's currently affecting or influencing your love life specifically your love life um eight of wands and the devil card shadow side indicates to me being very impulsive putting yourself in situations that are not to the best of your interest this is thinking with our you know with with our what's the word i'm looking for um acting based on superficial emotion versus genuine authentic emotion uh this is getting drunk you know getting drunk and just wanting to get yours and you know what i mean like putting yourself in situations where you can start a relationship or a connection purely based on the physical you've convinced yourself that it's okay but then it gets to the point where either 
you're uncomfortable or they start to push you away or you start to push them away um and you can't really sit there and complain about it because you knew head first what it is that you were getting into so again it's it's energy that you need to grow from at this point now if this isn't you gemini this could be the person you're dealing with it is a general reading however what they are saying with the aid of one and then you have the strength card so i feel like a lot of you guys are going into this energy of fully embracing your sexual energy and that is absolutely fine i'm 100 percent behind you gemini but here's the thing don't connect with people that you don't really know and give yourself to them and then expect them to put value in you or to assume that you're worth being settled with or that you're worth being taken seriously because what they're showing me here is i feel like you're reacting or putting yourself in this situation not because you want to but because you haven't healed from the past or you haven't healed from being hurt and what they're telling you here is there's no judgment but at the same time you need to stop doing or vibrating from an extremely shadow side because this is only temporarily this is the situation of you know i just want to forget about what i've been through i want to forget about emotions um let me just have fun let me just have a blast let me get drunk uh let me have sex with someone and and then you wake up feeling the emptiness that you have felt all this time it's it's like and, and this is not just in a sexual manner gemini this is like even putting yourself surrounded by thousands of friends and and people that are just having a good time you end up going home lying in bed and realizing you're alone and, or you're feeling lonely and the reason for that is because you have not healed from the past keep in mind we do have venus in retrograde so whatever it is that we're trying to suppress whatever it is that we're not dealing with emotional wise whether it's on a whether it's been something that you have been through or you dealt with the past two years the past three years the past four years the past five years you know seven years ago it's not gonna go away until you fully heal and it's not about making excuses about about why you got hurt or why the person in the past hurt you it's not about it's not about that it's about understanding that what was done is already done we cannot undo that we need to move forward and in order to move forward you need to be okay and make peace in your heart with what was done whether it was you or whether it was a partner in the past that did this to you because i feel like as time progresses you're putting yourself in a situation where you're often allowing yourself to be hurt because you're taking on this energy of i don't care but the three of swords is here and the three of swords is unhealed wounds it is still feeling or reliving the past or reliving the hurt the betrayal that was done and not being able to fully embrace opportunities because you kind of self-sabotage and I don't want to hear you guys say, you know, I'm a heartless bitch. Like, no, you're not, Gemini. I mean, I know you guys can be, but you're not. This is a defense mechanism. But what what's really going on deep down inside? This is something that you need to address because it will continue haunting you or it will continue hurting and hindering the future connections that come into your life. I want to wish you guys all the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.